Hey there, this is Jeff. I'm going to show you how to do some simple things in UDoodle for Android. Uh, the most people that use this app want to use the paint bucket to fill in a photo. So I'll show you how to do that first and I'll show you the wrong way to do that so you can understand how the drawing tools work. Um, the drawing tools only work on the foreground so if you end up importing a photo onto the background and then you try and use your flood fill it's going to fill the whole screen and you'll wonder what's going on. So let's show that happening. So normally you want to do edit photo so that you can change the photo directly but I'm going to choose draw on top of a photo and I'm going to choose Mr. Horse here. Okay so if you go down to these tools here and pick the paint bucket and then try and fill in say his nose oops the whole screen filled in and now look it gives you a message that says hey the drawing tools only work on the foreground you gotta get your image on the foreground for these to work so let's go ahead and do that properly um, I can either use the layers button and say merge to foreground like it told me to in which case now the fill will work properly or I can go through that import fl flow and choose edit photo, pick the background, go to the horse, and now he's on the foreground. So look at the layers button there in the bottom right and then tap layers. You can see whether your stuff's on the foreground or background. So very important to know what you're doing there. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Um, there's also a couple of other tools that are really handy. The recolor tool is very popular. This lets you change the shade of your image. And you can just pick any color and go over the top and it'll keep your texture intact which is really cool. Okay, so just to let you know, there's a lot of cool tools in UDoodle. Um, if you tip this draw tool icon, there's tons of drawing tools here. Things like the scissors, the blur tool, the smudge tool only work on the foreground. Uh, in fact, all the draw tools only work on the foreground. The background is kind of just there. Uh, using the layers button, you can do some interesting things like switching what you've got to the background. So now all of this is on the background and now I could draw and erase on top of this without messing it up. There's also this toolbox in the bottom right that has a bunch of cool tools on it. Frames, text, stamps, crop, and resize. So you'll want to check those out for sure. They're pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> and that's kind of a quick overview. Uh, once you're done with that, the save button here is in the top right. Normally you can save as JPEG, but if you've got any transparent bits, you'll want to save as PNG. And then you can just upload to your photos. And that's it. That's the uh, quick basic overview of UDoodle for Android. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll make some more advanced tutorials that discuss the advanced tools in another tutorial. Thanks.